1963 and 1964, when a cyclone struck Rameshwaram, Pamban Bridge, the only bridge connecting Rameshwaram with mainland India, came falling down. This country gave the responsibility of connecting Rameshwaram to mainland India to a 30-year-old civil engineer. This young man went to his seniors, to his gurus, and asked that I've been given 180 days to fix Pamban Bridge and connect Rameshwaram once again. How can I do it? They laughed and joked and said that 180 days and fixing Pamban Bridge do not go well with each other. This is just impossible. This young 30-year-old civil engineer, while everybody knew that this was a matter of national importance because Rameshwaram is a holy city, the parliament of this country continued to debate this, continued to ask questions that by when will we connect Rameshwaram to mainland on the 45th day an honorable parliamentarian was taking that question and he answered that within one month the task will be completed without knowing well that most seniors had given up. This young 30-year-old civil engineer to the surprise and pride of this country, the next day on the 46th day, newspapers carried a headline that this 30-year-old civil engineer had fixed Pamban Bridge and reconnected Rameshwaram. And this is about the journey within. This is about the thought within. He did not just stop there. He went on to build the most challenging railway line in the world, the Konkan Railways. And what we know today as India's pride and the world's envy, the Delhi Metro and many other metros after that. This 30-year-old civil engineer was E. Sridharan, who we know as the Metro Man of India. <laughs> Something important we need to take from E. Sridharan's story, from President Kalam's story, is that when a book would be written on the life of E. Sridharan, please remember this, the book was not titled E. Sridharan. The book wasn't titled The Civil Engineer, no matter how great a civil engineer he was. The book wasn't titled The Metro Man, it was titled The Karma Yogi. <laughs>